Hello everyone, in this video, a prostitution salesman will be sharing with us on why many people pray and they don't get answers, and why some pray and they get results. The kingdom of God is full of mysteries and operates by principles that God himself has set. Listen with your heart opened and be blessed by this video production. God bless you. The mercy of God is a system, is a provision in his wisdom, his infinite wisdom. He factored in a provision. Although righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne, but in his dealings with man, he introduced a mystery. For as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving, you will never have it. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. The mercy of God is not an attribute for sinners. The salvation of sinners only pass through the mystery of mercy. But mercy is more than, more than a provision just for sinners to experience salvation. You have to understand this. The mercy of God is part of the attributes of his person. The mercy of God is a system, a system in the kingdom where guilty people are made free. The mercy of God is a system, is a provision in his wisdom, his infinite wisdom. He factored in a provision. Although righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne, but in his dealings with man, he introduced a mystery. Let me tell you something about mercy. Look up. Mercy only works for people who are in time. Mercy cannot work in eternity. <sighs> Otherwise, Satan will not be where he is. That's why he says his mercies are new every he ties time to the operation of mercy meaning whenever just like he said as far as the earth remains so when you can see the morning the mercy of god is valid mercy mercy is the attribute of god listen that provokes his help to your life regardless of your satisfying the condition for it or not mercy is a powerful attribute that is the ancient secret that the nation of israel used to turn around battles when they sinned against god god gave them over to their enemies and every time a prophet would intercept there was an enchantment they would have to chant something you are good and your mercy it was not a song it was an invocation every time they started singing that song for he is good and his mercy see how many times the psalmist uses it the psalmist was a benefactor of the mercy of god did everything wrong but every time god want to come in he will remind him the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love the bible tells us that the lord's mercy can triumph come on now that the Lord's mercy can triumph over judgment. So when I get to the end of my road, I know that I am deserving of everything should happen. That should happen. Yes, my father sacrificed to idols. Yes, my carelessness. I am not a titer. I am qualified for financial bankruptcy. The last card, I danced, it did not work. I prayed, it did not work. The attribute for bailout. Is invoking the mercy of God. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Delilah. The Bible 
Bible says his eyes were plucked. The symbol of light in his life. And the mystery that surrounded his power. His hair shoven completely. And they took him. The Bible says they took him to their temple. To make mockery of God. Everything was over. But that Samson leaned there. They didn't watch the hair grow. He said, oh Lord. He cried for mercy. And the moment he did that. See. There is one prayer God cannot say no to. If you have never been confident of a prayer that will be answered. Try the prayer of mercy. Invoke mercy. Lord I know I am undeserving of this. But I invoke your mercy. It is of the Lord's mercy. Listen. It is of the Lord's mercy. Meaning. My lifetime. Is too fast for me to not have made a mistake. But it is of the Lord's mercy. Somewhere in my work. He creates a system. A provision. See let me tell you. It is on grounds of this. That the Bible can say. Rejoice not over me my enemies. For when you think. Ah, there was a time his car now had an accident. Will he ever rise again? Don't go. Ah. The worst witchcraft in your life is to stop you from receiving God's mercy. You are finished. Mercy. And Samson pushed. And the Bible says he killed more people at his death than his lifetime. What of blind Bartimaeus? Thou son of David hold on he never said heal me the bible says god will give us the desires of our heart i thought it would be thou son of david heal me he said thou son of david have mercy mercy is an open check and god had to come he left and came thou son of david there were two condemned criminals on the cross condemned once you hang on that cross it's over for you Two condemned criminals. One was talking nonsense. Like many people are still doing. They are quarter to finish in life. And they are still making noise. And the other one provoked his mercy. And he said this day, today, not tomorrow. Today, you will be with me in paradise. Are we together? Listen. The mercy of God is an attribute you need in your life. It's not for sinners. The mercy of God was designed in your work with him to remedy for your limitations. There is such a thing as limitation. If I tell you every anointing that is in my life is just because of prayer and fasting, I will be lying. No. I have mastered the art of God's mercy. Years ago, during a pastor's, a pastor's conference, the ministers were lying down and praying and the minister who was testifying this said he went to lie down close to Papa Deboe to hear the prayer he was praying and he said for over two or three hours all Papa Deboe was saying was mercy mercy Lord you would think he stole church money he knew he understood to pastor millions of people you don't just need anointing you need mercy Jesus met a woman by the well. When he met that woman by the well, they started a conversation. Number one, that woman was a prostitute. Correct? And then because of that, more the disciples, oh, no, 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 don't come and corrupt Jesus. You're a bad woman. And Jesus started talking with her. And she started touching his mercy. And at the end of it, that woman ran and said, come and see the man who has told me what I have done mercy mercy vetoes everything in your life and when the door settles you are still standing that's why you see those who know this when people are dancing and saying the power of my might has given me this oh this great ministry koinonia apostle what wisdom you are such an anointed man i just laugh and look at them you need to hear my prayer in the secret place the mercy of god when David 
one day the bible says when kings go for war david was meandering his balcony correct and he looked at somebody's wife she was bathing and from the altitude he could see her nakedness and he desired her the bible says he sent and they fetched that woman and they came he now got a man's wife pregnant and ordered that they go and call uriah in the heat of war not minding whether the nation of israel would die they carried uriah and brought uriah uriah said my king i'm here he says i just wanted you to come and have you seen your wife recently uriah says, ah, have you forgotten the ordinances of israel i should be there in the heat of battle and he got angry and all he did listen was to write a letter a man's own death sentence and gave him to the battle and the painful part is that he died question what was the difference between Cain and David Cain killed Abel blood started crying meaning when David killed Uriah blood should be crying correct David went wept 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 when all of that happened you would think that after the, the child died he will now tell the wife he said okay go I will marry you again who was the mother of Solomon <laughs> he did it again correct is David that will write his sins and ask them to sing it as a song if it had not been the Lord by my side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord, he will ask the nation of Israel to chorus for his message shall endure ever faithful, ever sure. And they will begin to sing it. God want to destroy David. David would just find, he knew how to just tie God down. And God said, this is a man after my own heart. A man that understand, not even Moses was called a man after his heart. Mercy. This is what our families need. This is what we need. This is what many ministries need. This is what many businesses need. Let me tell you something. We are rounding up. There is a system to be a recipient of God's mercy. Number one, a broken and a contrite heart. Write it down. Arrogant people are never qualified to be the benefactors of God's mercy. For as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving, you will never have it. Great is your mercy towards me. Your loving kindness towards me. Your tender mercy I see day after day. forefathers did not do anything you are a joker but the mercy of God has a way of exempting you the mercy of God has a way of exempting you from the rubbish and the nonsense that should be your lot the mercy of God can change any negative prophecy over any man's life regardless of what was seen about you a particular prophet now came and met David correct and then started to speak to him in parables there was a certain man who had a vineyard and somebody somebody came and grabbed the vineyard 
and David said, Who is that? Was angry. Say, You are the one. No, watch this. Do you know David was supposed to die? We have a series on mercy that will deal with. I don't want to go there. But do you know when you read that scripture, when David asked for mercy, God said that death had been taken from him. David would have died. David would have died. The wages of sin is not sickness. The wages of sin is death. But mercy, but mercy, but mercy. There are some of you here, legally, you are supposed to be failures in life. So based on that concoction, those who knew you had the gods to even prophesy it, and what they were saying is right, but mercy. When you introduce mercy to the equation, calculation changes everything. 